What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Zach Tactical, coming back at you again with another Mech Warrior video. So this is actually going to be a follow-up to my part one of my Let's Play. Uh, the funny thing is, I got really into the game and uh, may or may not have been playing for the past week and just didn't record. Um, so I did a little, little off-stream grinding, as you guys may say. Um, so we're going to check it out. I'll show you guys my current setup with my Mech Lab and uh, generally everything I've got so far. Uh, we've been playing a lot. I think I've made it up to, let's see, level 11 in the Merc Company from, I think it was like level 2, level 3 we stopped on the last Let's Play. So yeah, I did quite some grinding and we went from the, the year uh, 3050 to 3068. Um, so we're past the clan invasion. We're well into the uh, Fedcom Civil War, I want to say. And uh, yeah, we, we did a little bit of playing off stream. But uh, currently we are in Blue Diamond in uh, Federated Sons, well, sorry, uh, Federated Commonwealth Territory. Been doing a lot of missions up in the uh, Razzle Hag, Razzle Hague, however you say it. Did a couple missions over in Karita Territory, did a lot of missions over in Merrick. We've been playing a lot of the DLCs of uh, Here's the Inner Sphere. We've been playing a lot of that DLC with all these quests that pop in over here. Um, Kestrel Lanters has a couple quests that I haven't really started yet. Um, relatively higher level right now to start those, but I'm I'm going to play all of them for sure. And uh, yeah, but I'll go ahead and go into what mechs I have collected in my playtime. So uh, we start off, obviously, you guys know I'm a huge clan fan when it comes to the uh, mechs. So installed the mod, the uh, clan invasion mod that I talked about in my Why You Should Be Playing Mech Warrior video. Um, and I realized that it is yet another mech lab compatible. So it adds a bunch of clan mechs that were not in um, the YAML clan pack that I installed. Um, so we've got one of my personal favorites, the Hellfire, that is kitted out with pretty much mainly just SRMs, and then I believe it was heavy la uh, the super lasers and two large lasers. Uh, we've also got the Mad Cat, which is by far my favorite mech in the entire genre. I know it's cliche, it's like the number one mech in the series everybody promotes, but it's one of my favorite. Um, we've got a bunch of small lasers build on that one. Uh, Pretty much your standard loadout, I would say. Uh, let me see here. We've got our Timberwolf Prime from the Workshop on Steam, which is a really, really cool one. I like the classic look of the Timberwolf a lot more than the newer look. And uh, this one's also got a different, a lot of different quirks I can work with, which I'm a big, big fan. But we've got more of a traditional uh, Mad Cat Timberwolf loadout with two SRM-20s, uh, two SLA-4s, and two heavy large lasers. Uh, from what I did with this build, I the SLA fours and the heavy large lasers kind of have like a relatively similar range. So I wanted to maximize effectiveness at that medium range. So that's kind of how we did that. Um, been getting, having a lot of fun with the Mad Cat Mark II, uh, the hero variant that I've got here. Um, pretty much equip that with your, uh, your real fun LB20 XACs, heavy large lasers and medium pulse lasers with small lasers, all ER to kind of match once again, that same range coefficient. Um, we got another Mad Cat Mark II. This one is actually, I believe, from... Let me see here. So the top right one was yet another clan mech. But this one is from the clan invasion mod. So a little bit different. You can obviously, obviously see the textures are a little bit different on here. Um, but thought, fuck it. Might as well have it in here as well. Uh, pretty much kitted this one out with relatively normal medium range loadout. So we got two MRM-20s, heavy machine guns, two light rifles, and two heavy medium lasers. I've never really done much with the light rifles, so... Um, Kind of interested to see how those work. That was a more recent addition. Uh, I've got the tried and true Marauder. Uh, this one's from the Kestrel Lancers DLC. I saw with the logo up there, the three Delta variant. It's basically just got a shit ton of medium lasers and a ER large laser. So generally medium range brawler. I leave that usually to the AI to, to play around with because I don't. I, I like the Marauder, but I piloted this thing a whole bunch in the very beginning. Um, we've got our Locust for some of our uh, recon missions. Some of the missions we got to go really fast. Big fan, big, big fan of the medium chem lasers. I didn't, I think it's actually a vanilla um, weapon. It is badass. It's kind of like a really, really fast pulse laser. It sounds badass and it's got a bunch of ER small lasers to go with it with that. Once again, that range coefficient. I've also got AMS on there. Top speed tapping out at 141 kilometers an hour and it is fast. It is a Bugatti. So that is where my Bugatti is. Uh, so currently getting worked on, we got our linebacker, which I actually forget what I. Gave that one, so you guys might see that one in this little video here, but big fan of the linebacker as well. It's another really, really uh, popular clan heavy, um, so we're going to have a lot of fun with the linebacker. Uh, I found a Chimera, 
And I fell in love with this mech back when Mech Warrior 4 came out, and I was playing that, and I saw this abortion of a fucking vehicle mech thing. Looks like it's got kind of an Argus torso from the mod mixed with a giant rocket shoulder and some lasers on the side. So we're going to be rocking with that one. I believe I got a MRM, I want to say 20 on here. Let me see. I got some heavy large lasers, got a flamer, machine gun, and an MRM 20. So it's kind of a general purpose loadout. And I have, um, let me get the name right. I think it was Bar Adul that the guy in the comments corrected me on. Thank you for that. Um, he, I saw a lot of videos that he's done with the Warhammer 2C rack. So it's the rack hammer, as he calls it. Now, I currently do not have a lot of rotary auto cannons. Uh, so I instead gave it a very weird loadout. Um, I gave him, I think it was two AC-10 burst fires, uh, flamers, machine guns, and I think that's it. Yeah, with, with some speedy leg ash widgers as well. So the AC AC-10s are pretty much my medium to long range, and then the flamers and machine guns actually are really, really good for the uh, base destruction missions. Um, so I've been using that one quite a bit for just walking around and blowing up everything in a uh, little garrison. It's been fun. And then a favorite of mine as well, it's a clan light. You got the Cougar Prime. Outfitted that one with a general light mech run around you in circles and fuck you up kind of build with the uh, SRM2, SSRM, the Streak SRM2s, uh, large pulse lasers, and I want to say, oh, I actually got one that's destroyed on there. I'll have to fix that one with some uh, short burst lasers. And so generally all-purpose loadout we got on that one. Let me go in here actually real quick. I'll replace that. Oh, good segue actually into what I've collected when it comes to weaponry. So I am still kind of learning the differences as to what all the damage differences are between like ballistic energy and missile because I'm still kind of learning how the game works with that um, generally what I know right now is they just they all do damage in their own special way but I don't know if one is better for certain types of armor or whatnot if you guys know some details about that I would actually really appreciate it in the comments you left that down below but we've got a pretty decent collection of stuff I've been trying to get some more rack fives to put on the rack hammer and let me see here, I wanted to use this heavy gauss, but I don't have a mech right now that I can really slot that in. And a long time ago, I bought these two rail guns, and um, well, they're 30 tons, so they're quite thick. <laughs> so I, I've been trying to put them on something, but I, I cannot, for the life of me, find something to put them on. Um, and then with energy, obviously I use a lot of energy. I've been trying to collect clan energy weapons for a long time. Um, just recently started getting the heavy lasers, so starting, starting to collect the heavy medium lasers, heavy large lasers, and trying to find heavy smalls, but it's been kind of a kind of a rough time trying to find those. But there's a lot of lot of weapons in these mods that I have never seen before, like the blank laser. It's zero tons, zero range, zero DPS when it describes it. But it's a point defense energy weapon, so I have absolutely no idea what that means, and I don't know if I want to risk it putting it on there. But let me find a short la or a small laser, short burst on here. Looks like we might have to settle for a small X pulse laser. I know. Ooh, never mind. Just do a small pulse laser. Nope, goes over. So we got half a ton to work with. Let me sort by tons real quick. Let's see what we got. So just a regular small laser will have to do. Fine with me. We haven't used the cougar in quite a bit. Oh, and before we get into missions, cold storage. I've got one adder. I got this pretty early on in the playthrough, probably about like level five, and uh, didn't really have any clan tech to use with it. And uh, yeah, overall, pretty fun. Uh, I had, I spent, uh, I think it was a uh, thirty thousand C bills on a Warhawk clan tech assault mech, and uh, I think it was from the clan invasion mod. And it, it's cool as hell. You can mount, I think it was four lasers, four ballistic in each arm, and uh, it's got three, two or three rocket pods on the shoulders. And, uh, well, thing is, is when you use it, the arms are a lot lower than where the targeting computer is saying it's going to hit. So basically you're shooting low every time you shoot. It just, it just does not add up. It does not, you need to cite that one in a little bit. Uh, but I thought for this one, we would try to go for some harder difficulty ones. Uh, we got 10 to 12. We're already level 11, so I might as well go harder. So we're going to do 12 to 13 over here. I'm going to try to do some missions out, really do too much. I haven't done an attack and defend contract in a minute. We're gonna see how that one goes. Now, I'm gonna try to bring in as much tonnage as I possibly can. And I actually saw people were talking the other day about the tonnage limits, and they're really, really mad about the tonnage limits in the game. There's even mods to get rid of it. I don't know, I I feel like with the way the game works, you gotta remember it's, it is a video game at the end of the day, right? And you gotta have fun. So, 
But the way Mech Warrior works, unless it's actual pilots, if you just bring four assault mechs, a Steiner Scout Lance, as you would say, um, you're just going to win every time. Uh, but if you're going up against players, obviously they could outmaneuver you. But the AI, not so good at that. So I like that they, I like that they limit it. Honestly, I, I do. It makes you use different mechs and makes you use different types of gameplay. And I'm, I'm a big fan of it. So. Let me see here. So good, it's not a nighttime mission. I've been getting nothing but nighttime missions the entire time. Uh, so, we're going to do morning, little sandstorm, difficulties 90, we can handle that. Uh, SOS to any allied or mercenary companies. We have come under sustained attack during planet fall, currently cut off from the main landing group. Our FOB is in danger of being overrun, and we have lost half our unit strength. We are being attacked from all sides here and won't last the night. We need someone to find out where these guys are and put a stop to the attacks. Any mercenary group is res who responds will receive double their usual bonus. I will not say no to that. And always, always go for salvage. Because what's the Heavy point the if you're not going for effect, salvage? So as we see, <laughs> we got a 400 tonnage there. limit. So we're going to max that out as much as possible. I think I'm going to actually take that Mad Cat because I've been having too much fun with the Mad Cat. Where are we at the Mad Cat 2? Let me see here. I want to say yes. This is the one we're wanting to take. Got a, nothing but a lance of just mad cat variants here <laughs> so I know that it looks funny we got like the classic you know mech warrior uh, mech warrior 2 mad cat we got the mech warrior online and then we got two mad cat mark twos but I think we're gonna roll with nothing but mad cats here so let's go ahead and go in here and if anybody's wondering if you noticed I have some custom names from some friends of mine uh, in there it's actually um, I think it's easy pilot hires or a uh, similar mod like that on the steam workshop and you can install it and actually change the names and call signs of uh, of all your pilots and I actually I actually tried to install the damn pilot overhaul mod on the workshop but every time I install that it won't even let me <laughs> launch the game and uh, I really wanted to use it because it looked really really interesting and made it seem a lot more cool with interacting with pilots and stuff something I actually talked about years ago when the game was still kind of in development and I was talking about having better closer relationships with pilots and stuff interacting with them there's a lot of mods on the workshop that do that, but I just, I can't get them to work. It's, I, I think I'm already face, face fucking my, uh, my mech warrior a little too much here and, uh, can barely handle it as it is. So we're going to roll with what we got. Nothing but a lance of mad cats. Okay. So defense mission, got to destroy the enemy base as well. So I think the strat I've been using for these is pretty much just camp out right here on the exterior of our base. Let the enemy send everything they've got at us. And then that's when we go to kill them. And so far that's been doing pretty good for me. And with these like kind of multi-role mechs I've got going on right now, I think we can space them out quite a bit. It'll be all right. We even got a repair bay over there I see, so hopefully we don't have to use it. Oh hell, even they have the fucking mad cats. Hell yeah. Got some SRM carriers. So I'm thinking the enemy's gonna push us relatively early on. Is that a... You gotta love the infantry mod. Well, let's just give them a little hello. Yeah, they're done. You're done. Yeah, that, that's a really bad little observation post you had set up there, guys. I don't know. I don't know what the point of that one was. So we're gonna wait it out. See if they try to push us. We should have something coming up on sensors sometime soon here. Uh, while we're doing that, if anybody's wondering uh, what mod I'm using for the HUD, uh, there is one mod you can get on the Steam Workshop that's similar to this one, but not as in-depth. Uh, a la, you can pull up the, not just the paper doll, but a 3D model of your mech over there on the bottom left. Really, really cool. Um, you can do that also for top right. You can change, you can do the Hital uh, damage model. You can do 3Ds, do a lot more. It's badass stuff. Um, I'm using this one. This one was from Nexus Mods. I forget the name of it, but if you look up HUD Mods on Nexus Mods, you'll see one like this that pops up. There's a whole bunch of options you can fuck with and make it really, really cool. Not just colors, like some of the other mods. Now, that being said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do a little scouting of my own. I think I'm going to leave the rest of the Lance here. They can probably handle themselves. Let me go see what the enemy base is looking like right now. Let's see. Oh, nice. Got good visibility the whole time. Kind of reminds me of Tourmaline Desert from uh, MWO. Some helicopters. What kind of mech is that over there? A blood asp? Can't tell what that is. I think that might actually be a, is that a Mad Cat 3. Really surprised to see that. Can't really tell from here. 
I see something big over there. That might be an Argus. Oh, we got a assault mech coming in, I believe. Yep, Banshee. Oh, it's already toast. Oh god, yeah, the LB20 ACs um, cause a little bit of a uh, little bit of lag when you use them, but god damn, do they hit hard. Big fan of that. Got a catapult coming in. LRM15s, yeah. We're gonna get rid of those real quick. Sorry, bud. I'll probably charge him in a second. We got. They're kind of just coming in by themselves right now. So we could probably take those guys from here. What are the range on these LB20s? 293. Yeah, we'll let them sit for a while. Ooh, he's got two UAC tw Ultra Auto Cannon 20s. We're going to get out of line of sight from that guy. Ooh, a little hard hit. It's fun. Never hurt nobody. I'm going to let the AI take care of that guy. And I think we're going to go ahead and push this uh, catapult. Give him a little hello. Where you at? That was the one I hit earlier. That mixture of lasers. That's gone. Bye-bye. Your small lasers do not even phase me. You're done? Enemy power up. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright. You're done. We got a target. Oh, what is that? We got, oh, we got an optional independent pirates now involved in the battle. Now, whose side are they on? Well, they're independent, so I would assume. Not mine. Alright, let's take one of our guys with us. I think we're going to take the Mad Cat. Which one? We're going to take the uh, mech warrior online, Timberwolf, with us. See what happens. Looks like our guys are pretty good at the base. In worst case scenario, thank God, you can switch between mechs while you play the game. And we're we're definitely going to do that if the base starts taking some heat. I think we'll be all right. Looks like they are just camping off to the side. I think we can take these guys on our own. I don't know who they are, though. Or what they are. Let's see. Rifleman. Rifleman. Target Marauder acquired. 2. Let's take out that main gun real quick. Say goodbye. Oh, actually, is the main gun on the top actually... I think that's actually a center torso piece. The LB-20, I think, is working from this distance, but I don't know if it's doing too well. Let's take out these guns on the rifleman, though. What does he got? Medium lasers, two LB-5s. Oh, we're fine. We can take his ass. Get out of here. Go towards the enemy base. Don't mess with me. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and just chase him down. I think I can take that enemy base on. Ah, oh, we did a little leg damage there. That's fine. Turret is still alive. Tough little guy. Oh, they're pushing me. Take out these arms first. Ooh, man, he's taking us right now. Definitely need some backup from that Timberwolf. LB5s are rocking me right now. Looks like his leg's already down. That's good. We're going to sit here and focus on this guy for now. Keep focus on those arms. There we go. Hit that center torso hard. Should be it right here. There we go. Marauder, what are you doing? I don't care about heat. Shut up. Oh, is his leg just gone? Yeah, that leg is... Oh, there we go. A little, little phasing out of existence, but that's fine. That's what we like to do. <laughs> the game... It works, alright? It just works. That is another awesome... TPCs, we can handle that. Take those arms off. Now with the TTAI rules mod from the Steam Workshop, they actually really love torso twisting. I don't know how they program that, but they do it. That was also pretty easy. One no match for a Mad Cat Mark II and a Timberwolf. Easy peasy. And that one that I've got with me, lots lots of medium laser A3. So basically, uh, MLA3 from last I read is I think three medium lasers. Somehow strapped together, some maniac managed to strap them all together and uh, fire at the same time. And it's a lot, I think it's less crit slots uh, overall than having multiple ones attached to the mech. So, you know, that's what we're, we like running. High heat's fine. If you know how to manage it, pop out of cover, melt somebody's face off, go back into cover. That's fine. We like doing that. You ever catch me in MechWarrior Online? I'm actually in the same build minus the LB20s. Um, my go-to is the Mad Cat Mark II, 
Oh, where are we going, by the way? Taking the long route, I see. Um, yeah, I actually have a Mad Cat Mark II. Um, pretty much the same loadout, but instead of the LB-20XACs, we've got two Gauss rifles, or Gauss, however you pronounce it. Um, huge fan. Now, the only problem I have is I love peeking off to the side use it in using one side of the mech. And uh, with that many weapons, it's hard to bind it properly. And I end up just shooting a rock wall with at least one side of the mech at any given time. So we're still trying to figure out how to uh, work around that one. Might bind the uh, heavy large lasers to something different because the Gauss rifles, I don't know. But the, the way I see it, right, the Gauss, Gauss rifle, you gotta charge it up, shoot it, right? At least in, in Mech Warrior Online. And uh, goddamn, is it hard to aim? It is very hard to aim. So that's why we just like shooting both of them at the same time. If I can get out of this gorge, that would be amazing. There we go. I'll let the Timberwolf take care of those uh, turrets. We don't worry about that. We're a little too big to fail right now. Nobody's capturing that friendly base, so that's good with me. I think we actually might be able to leave those two on defense. And me and this Timby and what, are, what is with us right now? Uh, Vulture with two Hag 30s. I have no idea what the Hag 30 is, but he's only got two of them, so it's got to be fucking huge. It's a heavy auto Gauss? Heavy auto cannon? Okay, not cannon. We'll figure that one out. If I could salvage him, that would be great. But I can't. Sadly, he's a friend. Ooh, not good aim. God damn, what is this thing made out of? Die! There we go. Those quad PPC cannons on the harder difficulties are fucking terrifying. Alright, let me see here. Take out this. Nothing but LRMs. Holy shit. Beefy. Got a lock. Oh, it's got a lock on me. Not worried about it. Barely even touching the externals of my mech right now. Just a scratch. We'll, uh, we'll wipe that one off. We're good. And was that another quad PPC? I think it was. Uh, it looks like my arms red on the external, so we'll worry about that. Argus? Yeah, we can take that on. Also, task is to destroy their base, so I'm going to leave my defenders there. Me and these two other mechs can probably handle it. Another quad PPC! God damn! Die already! Yeah, shoulder is exposed. That's not good. Or arm is exposed, rather. My left one, so we're gonna try to torso twist a little bit. I want that vulture. And he wants me. Let's pop back into cover. Psych, never mind, no cover. You guys can worry about that vulture. I'll worry about everything else. Lots of vultures. Holy shit, is it just the clans? Is it the clans we're going up against right now? I think it was independence last I saw, but you know what? Now that I think about it. Ah, that clan invasion mod that I was talking about. Oh man, it's going to get rid of my LBs. That's not good. That clan invasion mod makes independence also have a lot of clan stuff. Okay, so arm is gone. We can work with just one LB. That's fine. Warning. Shutdown sequence imminent. Ah, LRMs. At least actually, uh, well, the good thing about losing an arm right now is that I get better frame rate. Because <laughs> my weapons aren't that OP. We can always replace the arm. I just want to put Gauss cannons in there anyway. Or Gauss rifles, rather. Okay, you're going down, bud. Take out those rockets first. That's just LRMs. Bad call on my side. Hit him in the rear. Looks like that torso is about to be critical. Good to go. Like I said, boys, we're running hot, but we can run hot. That's why you do heat sinks. Oh, Jesus! Okay, he's dead. We're down in a blaze of glory right there. About 36% left on the enemy base. We're just going to walk right through. Alright, bud, go ahead and take care of that uh, mad cat for me. Is that an Wait, is that another vulture? You're kidding me. It's like six vultures that just went up against. Yeah, it might still be one of the same ones. Let's see here. Can I get a shot off? Might be able to take that. Eh, we're peppering him a little bit. You gotta cover, bitch. Face me. The arm's almost gone. It's mine now. All 
All right, he's about done. Oh yeah, you're done, dude. Got yeah, the two LB10s left, and I don't like that, so we're gonna get rid of that too. He's just not moving. I think he actually might be stuck. I kind of feel bad for him now. Enemy well, destroyed. not my problem anymore. Really wish I could walk through these big ass buildings. That'd be really really fun, but they're uh, a little thick boy, so I can't do that. Now all that's left is to uh, walk through this and correct it. Walk through this. Okay. Straight to the pickup zone. Let's get out of here. Black Knight. I'll let that Timberwolf take care of me. We're going to make it to the extraction zone. Black Knight. Really interesting mech from what I saw. Um, did a little bit of listening on the internet about the Black Knight. And apparently, I have not seen it yet. But apparently, um, I think it was during or shortly after the clan invasion, they, uh, the Inner Sphere made a model of it called the Clan Buster, and it was just all super close range oriented um, weaponry. Like, even had, like, I think it was a mace or something on it. And I really would like to see how that works. I'm not a huge fan of the Black Knight in general, but I think with that, I'd have a good time. Damn, these things are tearing me up. My, left, my right arm's already exposed. Let's just get to the extraction zone. We're out of here. Hell yeah. That's how it runs. That's how... That's how the cookie crumbles. Ah. Okay. Hopefully, we got some good salvage. Not gonna lie, I have the salvage settings turned up a little bit in the game because I feel like, you know, hey, if we rule the battlefield, we can just come in whenever we want to and pick up whatever we want as long as it's not too many tons. So that's what we roll with. With yet another mech lab, I noticed you can have a lot of custom settings. Seven fucking million C bills. Yeah, we'll take that, buddy. No problem. 62 salvage. What are we going to go for? What are we going to go for? Got a Marauder. Hmm. Is that the Marauder 2 we killed? Still kind of learning the acronyms a little bit. I am kind of fiending for another assault mech. Hmm. That's got to be the Mad Dog right there. The Black Knight. BL-12 Knight. Argus Catapult. We destroyed the fucking Catapult. RIP, my guy. Let's see. More. These are Marauders. That's got to be the Marauder 2. Yeah, I kind of see those fins on the side. So we're going we're gonna to take the Marauder 2. And let me just go ahead and rack up some damn LRM-20s. Only two points for salvage. Not bad. Rack up on the PPCs as well. No racks, so we can't, can't get a rotary auto cannon just yet. A lot of salvage. Hell yeah. Let's see what we got. Uh, so obviously we're going to repair all of our stuff. Do we want to keep Marauder 2? I see that <laughs> missing some pieces here. Still some random floating barrels. <laughs> uh, I think, you know what? It's got a heavy goss in it. Big fan of the heavy goss. Now, we're only going 48 kilometers an hour. That's slow. I mean, compared to these Mad Cat 2s, we're going 69. We're just, just going to strip it for parts. We're going to strip it for parts. I'll take that engine 300 and uh, go on my merry, merry way. Let me go ahead and take a quick trip over to Fatima. Oh, you know, actually, let's go to, is it Micham? Yeah, let's go to Micham. Mechum? Micham? I don't know if there's any lore on history on Mechum slash Micham. But we're going to go there and sell this Marauder 2. Hopefully they finish working on it by then. Payment. Apparently, I got injured on that one. There was an ammo explosion. Yeah, I got injured on that. Okay. And let's go ahead and sell... The Marauder. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Marauder 2. Goodbye. Alright. What do we got on the market just while we're here? We got a Banshee SR. I'm a huge fan of the Banshee. Cool looking mech, but not a big fan. We draw Shadow Hut Wolverine. Not worried about it. Let's get back around here. We might be able to do this rescue contract. I think with the rescues, is that the, uh, I think that's the one where you gotta guard the convoys, and it's one of those damn quests. 
You know what? I don't care if we're we're in a fucking bad zone. We're gonna actually do a quest. We're gonna do a quest. Trying to see if there's any of them near us. X marks the spot for level 11. Bring her home level 10. Let's do a Davion quest. All right. Do track that. I'm going to bring her home. Let's see. Let's travel here. It's going to be a minute before we get there. So let's just do one travel. 100k C bills. You know what? You guys have been asking me to do the DLC. I'm going to do the damn DLC. I'm going to play some of it. I've, I've done a couple of them on the lower levels, but uh, not a whole bunch. Really, it was just running around Razzle Hag, Razzle, Razzle Hag, wherever. And uh, just fighting the clans as much as I could. Try to collect up some clan stuff. Let's see. Let's get over here to Raman. Or Raman. We're going to see what this quest is all about. Are we overpowered for it? I don't know. Hopefully. Got to meet, meet Duke Thaddeus Cole in the capital city. Uh, so, Commander, your reputation precedes you. Please do me the honor of meeting with me at the capital city of my humble domain at the risk of sounding dramatic. I have a delicate and urgent matter of life and death to discuss, and I believe I need someone of your caliber. I promise you'll be handsomely rewarded for the successful completion of your task. Sounds good to me. Let's do that. Let's see here. So we're fighting a clan on this planet as well. But let's go ahead and do Bring Her Home Part 1. Duke Thaddeus Cole has requested formal audience with us. I'm not sure what he's after, but I think we should hear him out. You don't get to be the leader of a house for nothing. At the very least, this man would be a very powerful ally. I don't think he would be the leader of the house at this timeline, if I'm correct, but that's getting... We're not even supposed to be in this timeline right now anyway. Mods. Ah, so we are overtime. Sad face emoji. Uh, I don't think Mad Cat Mark II is getting brought in because I lost uh, quite a bit. Let's see. I'm bringing something fun. What is one again? Linebacker. Okay, yeah, we'll bring in the linebacker. We'll go a little bit lower on the tonnage. I can still probably bring a salt mech. We are going to get rid of the Mad Cat. We'll replace him with the Chimera, I think. And we should. Ooh, still not good. A little over. Let's go down to a heavy. Perfect. Marauder. Could we actually go a little higher? Nah, we're going to leave it as is. So we've got heavy, heavy, heavy. Medium. Sounds good to me. Worst case scenario, if I need to run around real quick, that Chimera, I think we're topping out at 85 kph, if I remember correct, with the engine I got in there, so we can book it if we need to. That OG Timberwolf, I'm pretty sure, is capping out at like 91. I don't know. A little overpowered. I'll admit it. First time piloting the linebacker, though, so we'll see how that works. Reactor online. Center online. HUD. Let's see, is the cockpit finished? Ooh, is that on purpose? I like I like the silhouette. I hope you receive this in time. I'm doing a little shiny. Mod work in progress. I like I like the uniqueness though. I don't think we're supposed to be seeing that though. Fuck it. We'll work with what we got. We work on some of these. Wrong side. Whoops. Sorry, everybody. Protect the garrison, survive the onslaught. Okay. Looks like we made it here just in time. So we are at the garrison right now. You made it. Are you a site for sore eyes? I'm gonna have these guys post up around here. Listen, most of my security. Ah, perfect soundtrack. Hold on. Let me turn the volume up on this. Perfect soundtrack. Post you up here. Keep them from reaching us. Post you up here. Oh, I just noticed we don't have anybody watching the rear right now. Whoa, what are you doing, my guy? Alright, he's closing in hard. Oh, he's already inside the garrison. Not good. I'm gonna have to kill him quick. He's running around wreaking havoc right now. Ooh. I hate these missions, man. I hate them because these guys can just run rampant in the city and we can't. I try to chase them through here and not blow everything up. Target acquired. Enemy target Come on, my guy. Back over here. Oh, yeah, you're going down. Ooh, that rack five is terrifying. 
I'm gonna try to get out of here without damaging anyone. Or not. Looks like the rear is gonna be entirely on me. I'll let the other, I'll let the AI do their thing. I'm not sure if I can rely on them too hard for uh, defending everything. So I could probably take the rear by myself. Or not. We're, we'll bring we'll bring one guy with us. I'll bring the uh, Timby, Timby Prime with us. Locus, Locus. Yeah, we can handle that. He's within range. Dodging my sensors. Closing the gap with this other one. Gonna take you out real quick. A little fast for the rack. We're gonna save the heat. Back up. Do we produce him with the rack? Not a lot. We can survive it. Warning, warning. Hopefully those finish Shutdown them off. Sequence imminent. Trying to draw me away from the city and it's working. Let me pull back in a second. Kill this guy. Got him. Let me pull back to the city real quick. Destroyed. I see you, buddy. Uh, we, but, so fighting these locusts, not easy with a tracking cannon like this. Like these hit scan lasers, cool, but like actual projectile weapons, very, very hard to hit these bastards. But we still do it. So I like to see. Ooh, going critical. Now can my boy take care of these dudes? Let's see. Medium mech, got a Phoenix Hawk. I'm gonna leave them over there on that side. They should be able to take that whole west side down. Got my boy on the north, got a boy on the southwest. We're over here patrolling. So I kind of got like a roaming guard going on. If I can take out this SRM-20 carrier. Tell me those are going to lock. Ah, if you fire them before they fully lock, they don't auto-correct. And that one's going to be a... Ah! Ducked out behind cover. Let me keep number three here real quick. I don't want that generator to get inside the city. If that's going to be a fucking duel. I'll leave number three out here on the east side and we'll try to just roam around and get some uh, free kills. Looks like the city itself is destructible, but the garrison is what they're worried about. I mean, I, I see it says protect the garrison. Also, sorry, Monument, uh, you're going down. Some artist is very sad right now for his entire life just for that one monument to... Uh, just get stepped on by me. You're welcome. Center torso crit. And, oh, still alive somehow? Okay. Fix that. And you ejected. That's what I thought. Crash. Stay on the east? Nope. Still good. Keep walking around. Man, I love the look of this thing, man. You know what? I think we're going to go get some kills. Let me go for that Phoenix Hawk real quick. Still within range. As long as we keep a sensor lock. At right when I said it. We did get a hit though, so I'm going to go kill him before he gets to us. Unless we have anything pop inside the city, I think we'll be fine. It's the rack. Go for the arms if we can. Oh man, that arm is hurting. One laser. There we go. Just face tank him real quick. Come here, buddy. We jam? Why do we stop shooting? No, we're still alive. Oh, I think we are jamming. Change that up for a second. How you doing over there, guy? Chimera? Good to go? Hell yeah, you are. Probably shouldn't leave him alone. He's kind of watching this side by himself without me. Over that way. Beatles? Oh yeah, that's way out of range. Hold on, let's get closer and hit him with the LRM. You're going down. Did one LRM 20 word? Nah. Heavy lasers? Yes. Get this little guy here. Oh shit. Kinda scared me. Jump scare. I think our Marauder is the one. Yep, left the Marauder over there, so we should be able to take most of those guys on. Let's get over there and help them. Target 
Scorpion. Locust? Come on, guy. When are you guys going to learn? Just stop sending light mechs to come kill me. I spit on you. But I'll take it. Free salvage. I'm not even going to waste the rack, honestly. We're just going to hit him with the heavy lasers and uh, call it a day. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just run away. You, yep, yep. You, what are you going to do? Where, where are you going? You're just melting your cockpit is what you're doing. Come here. If I can melee you, I would. Did I just... <laughs> I think it's the first time I've actually got a kill by running into the guy. Hell yeah. Uh, let's get... I think our Marauder can take him. No, that's Timberwolf. Timberwolf can definitely take that. Esky fucking tanks. Get out of my way. Vulcan? Yeah, you're going down. Sir, sir, I'm busy. Fuck off. Okay. Right, right over here, buddy. There we go. Just, just die. There you go. Just die. That's what I thought. All right, this guy's near inside the city, so that's not good. We gotta take him out now. Anybody else? They're still on the west side of the city, so we can we can deal with that. Going for arms and center torso. Still high on heat. We're gonna chill with the lasers. Just finish him off with a rack. Slow down a little bit. Oh, we got a jam. All right, laser time. Center torso is red. I can take that. One laser and he's done. That's what I thought. They just keep sending these damn light mechs. Like, where are the assaults at, honestly? They have, uh, what, five? Five chances left to kill me? It's not gonna happen, guy. My AI is just either doing absolutely nothing or dominating so hard I don't see them, but they have, uh, no damage right now. And, uh, I kind of feel like I'm kind of the MVP right now. And, uh, that needs to change. I need to put them, I need, need to get them to put some work in. Now, if there's a better way I can, like, use the AI that I'm not doing right now, let me know. But I'm keeping the guys on the west for sensors and holding them off. And then I'll kind of come in and uh, and finish them off. But, I don't know, I feel like the AI can handle themselves a lot better than they're doing now. I don't know, they're just not really getting confirmed kills that easily. And these are only light mechs coming in, medium mechs coming in at us right now. So, I don't know, let me try to cut this guy off before he gets there. I know they're going to breach the perimeter for sure. Where you at, guy? Trying not to destroy someone's billion Seabill apartment right now. Actually, what is the property value for somewhere like this in the inner sphere? Like, I'm just saying, this looks like, like downtown fucking Boston right now. I mean, that's not shitting on Boston. Minus the mechs, obviously. And the fact that we're in space on a different planet. You know you know what I mean. Arms are gone. And let's see here. Right torso. Okay. A little bit of a jam. That's fine. Right torso is gone. You have one PPC. Fine with me. We'll take you out. There we go. Torso's down. All right, guy. You slipped past us somehow. I don't like that. Try to avoid collateral damage in that town. Pinpoint weapons only. Go for the head? No, Sarah Torso only. Okay, I lied. We're not avoiding collateral damage. Sorry. Still at 95% on the gears, and I can afford some uh, apartments to go missing. Lasers? Rack? Rack? Please? There we go. I thought. The Duke was hurt in the assault. Well, they did, they did have six damage, so I guess they got lucky. Late last night, my estate was attacked by an unknown battalion, led by a strange victor. They, they've taken my daughter. Commander, she's the only family I have left. Oh. So I beg you, help me bring her home. I've got the coordinates, Commander. We're good to go whenever you're ready. Sounds like a deal. So, 
big fan of the linebacker. I know that we're not supposed to have like that little face shield at the, the jawline right in front of us because it's still a work in progress. I get it. But am I weird for saying that I kind of like it? I kind of like like the face shield kind of look because so many of these cockpits just look so similar and I don't see very much uniqueness coming from a lot of them. So it's, it's always cool to see um, something different. And even if it is a bug, find a way to get it somehow still in there and make it look like it makes sense. I don't know. I kind of like it. Okay, salvage-wise, we didn't really kill anything that spectacular. Um, so I think I'm just going to be going for engines. Whoever's got engines left over. All these guys got cord. So, any of the lighter guys still got any engines left? Ooh. Sorry. Guess not. So I think we'll do... We'll just take the stuff we can sell for the most sea bills, honestly. I'm not going to care too much. We're going to sell those ones straight up. Straight to cold storage with you. Straight to the Shadow Realm. Um, I have this thing where it keeps changing the damn quest every time I complete one level of it. I, I fucking hate it. Let me view a transmission. Bring her home part two. And that's on this planet still. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm going to head to Karita real quick. And, oh, you know what? Is there a cantina around here anywhere? Well, let's go to Mark Hob or more Cab and uh, see what they got. Try to, I'm going to repair these, sell these mechs, see where we kind of leave off on before we get into that second level of the mission. All right, we're going to move the Shadowhawk, cold storage, repair all of our boys there. They really got no damage. I got to I gotta take a look at some of these settings with YAML or you know, another mech lab and see maybe I can turn that up a little bit because these guys are just getting no damage. Uh, okay, mech market. We're going to sell... Shadowhawk, Shadow Realm, goodbye. Vulcan, Shadow Realm as well. And I think that was all we got. Now, maybe we can complete the Rack Warhammer? Maybe. We've got a whole bunch of stuff I haven't seen. AP Flechette, no idea what that is. M MG Cannon, it's 33 million C bills. I have no idea. Tsunami Goss, what the fuck is that? I have a Rack 2. And that's it. Damn. This is crazy. What is AP? High caliber machine gun, lachette rounds, extra armor piercing, 3.6 damage. I think it's four of them. I could, but I don't have a reason to buy it yet, and I don't like wasting money. An extended extended range PPC, so ultimate sniper build, I see. IMB laser, improved binary laser cannon. God damn, 21 damage. Medium X pulse laser. Not against that. Super laser large. Tags. I do not have a tag, so I will buy a tag. I don't have a lot. Of, I don't have any PPCs. Hmm. Light PPCs. Five damage. Kind of fun to do a build with that. Let's see what we got. The rack hammer still doing its thing and repairing the rest of them. Locust. I feel like we could hit out for more hit and run stuff, but I just love circling around dudes and just fucking melting their armor really like the build that we got now for a lot of these. I think I might keep up with that. Um, let's see. I think I'm pretty happy with what we got right now. Okay. Well, before we get into the second chapter of Bring Her Home, part two, second chapter, um, yeah, I think we're going to end it here. A little, little bit shorter video today, I think, but I want to do more regular videos of this at least one a week and try to hold off from playing the game off stream or at least the quests that i'm doing with the stream um so next video we'll get into bring her home part two and probably try to finish out that quest line but uh yeah it's always good seeing you guys in the comments always good seeing you guys um like the videos there's a lot of likes on some of these videos of the mech warrior stuff and as you guys know i'm an army youtuber and it's been awesome seeing the community come in and say hello and give me some advice and help me out with a lot of stuff. So if you guys ever have anything you want to talk about, feel free to leave it in the comments and I will address it. I've been commenting pretty much all day on the ones that I had from uh, my last two videos. So yeah, feel free to uh, stick around, like, subscribe, super swipe, super like, whatever you got. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the uh, next one. See you around.